Hello friends, this is Dana Urquiri, author, speaker, survivor, advocate, certified trauma recovery coach and certified master energy practitioner from DanaUrquiri.com. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any new content. And if you are returning, welcome back. It's awesome to have you here. Today's video is long coming. It so happens that this topic up quite frequently with my clients during our certified trauma recovery coaching sessions. And today's title is Backstabbing Toxic Friends, 12 Warning Signs. And it's interesting that recently I posted a little survey on the community page of my YouTube channel and I just put out their question, do you have a toxic friend? And so some people said, I'm not sure. And 89% said yes, more than once. Nobody said no. Let that soak in. Not one single person so far said no, I have not had a toxic friend. That is why today I'm having this educational content because it's really important that we build awareness about all of our relationships, not just with our family members, and our coworkers, but also our friendships. And so today's video is about online and offline friendships. So there could be plenty of people who you made connections with on social media. And here's the one thing that I definitely have noticed is that online toxic friendships are more prevalent than face-to-face -face friendships. And that is something that I've personally experienced myself. And so let's get right to it. What are the 12 signs and these major red flags of a potentially toxic backstabbing friendship. Number one, they are high maintenance. And so this person wants everything to be about them. All the at attention is about them. Me, 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 and only me. They only care about themselves. Number two, self-entitlement. They believe that they are entitled to treat you like dirt. They believe that they could say whatever they choose to say, even if they trample on you and your feelings and your emotions, they don't care. Number three, these types of people are very egotistical. So their ego is going to get in the way all the time. Instead of them just respecting you and your boundaries, their ego is so ginormous, it is going to be a constant problem in your relationship with them. And so they think that they are right and you are wrong. This is common, especially with online friends. They are extremely persistent when it comes to who is right and who is wrong. Here is something really important. Isn't it more important for us to just make peace and say, hey, we don't have to agree on everything and let's just respect each other. It's okay if we don't have the same perception and the same belief systems. We don't need to be right. Can't we just have a friendship and respect one another? And so the toxic friend, no, they're not going to go along with that one. Next is number four. They're very jealous and they have a spirit of envy. Truth be told, I have had one particular friend who has repeatedly said to me that she is jealous of me, jealous of my marriage, jealous of my career, jealous of how much I've grown and expanded myself, jealous of all of my accomplishments. That's not a true friend. That's more like a frenemy. Next would be they gossip about you. Oh my goodness, this goes hand in hand with the toxic backstabbing friends. There might be really cruel words and terrible things that they say about you. And so we have to understand that people who gossip about you, they are not your real friends. And the one thing that comes into my mind right now is how there are certain people who I have met online who use prayer as a way to gossip. So they might email me, they might text me, they might chat with me on social media, or they might send me a private message on social media and they're gossiping about their friends. Here's something really important to keep in mind. If they're trash talking their friend and gossiping about them, this other person, good chance they're gossiping and trash talking you too. 
Let's go to number six. They cross your boundaries, and it's not just once, twice, or three times. Oh, it is repeatedly over and over and over again. Number seven, they are disrespectful to you, your privacy, your confidentiality. How many times have you spilled your guts and told your best friend or someone you really care about all of your problems or personal information? And before you know it, the whole world has heard because they told everyone. It is really hurtful when that happens because it's disrespectful and they crossed our boundaries and they basically have proven that they don't respect us. And that's a deal breaker for friendships. Number eight is they are untrustworthy. And so oftentimes it could come up into our body. We get these sensations with um, certain people that are untrustworthy. And what happens is something in our gut, it could be our sixth sense, it could be our intuition, the inner knowing, and it's basically saying, alert, 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 this person is not trustworthy. And so the one thing we can really lean on is wisdom, discernment, and understanding that our intuition does not lie. So if someone reveals their true colors, believe them the first time. Number nine, they use God as a weapon to hurt you and harm you. They not only preach to you and think they are holier than thou. Oh, they're so holy. They're so righteous. And yet... This is not how God would treat us. That's not what Jesus would do. And so they use either scriptures, God, the Bible, and all of this, I call it Christianese talk, and they literally hurt you with all of their words and all of their harsh judgments and condemnation. It's, again, extremely hurtful, but a red flag that this is a backstabbing toxic friend. Next would be number 10. They drain you emotionally and exhaust you physically. You feel like when you're either with them or in a communication with them, so whether this is going out with them, spending time, going out to the movies, dinner, shopping, or you're chatting on the phone, or you're back and forth, maybe you text each other, maybe you email each other. A lot of different dynamics and relationships and different ways to have friendships online and offline. But the one thing that will come up is you feel physically and emotionally exhausted and drained and just beaten down when you are in, involved with this type of toxic friend. And so please understand that it is a red flag. If someone's draining your energy, Mmm, red alert, red alert, not a good match for you. Let's move on to number 11. So toxic backstabbing friends are controlling. They want to control you, your other relationships, your job, what you choose to do with your life, how you dress, what you wear, what you say, things about your personal growth, about your own choices in life. And they will try to control you and then tell you, that you made some really bad mistakes. And so that's another red flag to be aware of. You are a grown adult. You don't need someone, especially a friend, controlling you, your life, your career, your relationships, and everything you say and do. Let's move on to number 12. So you've been on a healing journey and this is something I've seen with a lot of my coaching clients. So we're, we're all on a healing journey, including me. And so we're trying to recover from trauma. And maybe there was a one narcissistic person in our life. You know, maybe it was your mother, your father, your siblings, an ex-spouse, a partner. Maybe it was your friend. But whatever the case may be, it could be a situation where because you've already experienced abuse, and it could have been narcissistic abuse, sibling abuse, it could have been sexual abuse, psychological abuse, child abuse. You now understand the red flags of toxic, unhealthy relationships. And therefore, you are doing the healing work. Now, the big thing that I've noticed is here we are. Here we are. The brave souls doing the hard recovery work, showing up, dressing up, diving in deep, to explore how we can heal from these traumatic experiences in our life. And yet, this friend of ours, 
they're not doing any of the healing work. They are still kind of stuck way back, way back there. And say we've been friends with them 10 years, 20 years, 30 years or beyond. We could see the pattern that we are changing, we are expanding, and we are really transforming ourselves, and yet they are not. Your toxic friend isn't changing. You have changed. And oftentimes what happens is if one person's changing and another person's not changing, that means things have changed in your relationship and friendship with them. And so if you're doing the hard work of healing and they are not, and if they are backstabbing you and hurting you and manipulating you, it is a sign that you two are now no longer in alignment. They're no longer a good match for you as far as a friend. Whatever you do in your life, so it could be your job, your career, maybe you went back to college, maybe it's uh, a place you want a vacation, maybe it's a relationship with someone else, a partner, a spouse, and this so-called friend of yours wants to constantly give their two cents worth and they always are debating you and in disputes with you about your life choices. That's not a friend. That's a control freak. That's someone who's toxic and manipulative. Lastly, we're going to end on this note with this quote by an unknown author. And they said, a toxic friend will disrespect your boundaries, cause unnecessary drama, accuse you of horrible things, make snide remarks to you. They will judge you. They will play the victim card and they are jealous of your achievements, and they will stab you in the back. My friends, this is psychological abuse. And so today, share with me, have you experienced any backstabbing toxic friends? When did you realize that they were not healthy for you? What did they say or do to you? Let's keep the comments going down below. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and if you'd like to reach out to me or have any type of coaching or services with me, you may do so at DanaArcuri.com. Thank you and have a great day.